every trend is not for everybody. But I just want mum jeans to fit me so bad. Is that too much to ask for? Hey girl, hi! How you doing? Hope you're okay, hope you're fine, hope you are well! How are you? Are you okay? I feel like I've not seen you in ages. If this is your first time being here, I like to make videos every now and then when I feel inspired. Today, it's a good day, because I feel inspired. But, if this isn't your first time here, it's great to see you again. I feel like every time we link up, it's a celebration, and we have a great old time. Now, I bought some denim beginning of the year, and... <laughs> I barely fit anymore. So I decided, since it's autumn, um, since it's getting colder, I need more denim that actually fits. So, I decided to go blue water, I picked up some pieces, and um, we're gonna see what, you know, Urban Outfitters, Zara and Primark have to say for themselves when it comes to denim. I'm fitting my short, petite, stubby body, which is chubby at the same time. But what is an enigma? It's an enigma. We don't know what's happening right now, but it's a thing and we are going to dress it today. We're going to see. We're going to see. <sighs> We're just going to see what happens, to be honest. I don't know what's going to happen, but let's explore it together, sis. We are going to start with Primark. Now, these are black ankle grazer mid-rise jeans in a size 14. Now, I love me a good skinny jean because I feel like I don't want to make myself look bigger. Do you know what I mean? I'm short and like small, but I'm chubby. It's just a mess over here, right? The shape I'm in. I don't, I don't even know what shape you would call my body, but I feel like these type of jeans really fit my frame just because they're like fitted. You know what I mean? And these are actually made with sustainable cotton, which is a good thing, you know, save the turtles and that. So, let's see how these fit. Ooh, chill. What was that? Ooh, Primark. Primark, have you done something? Have you done something? Yeah. Well, they're definitely not mid-rise on me. They're like high-waisted. So, that is a great start. <sighs> They're a little bit big, but I don't think size 12 would fit me. They might do actually. I don't know, I might go down a size, but they fit really comfortably. <laughs> oh gosh, I've got fat. I feel like I'm very much here for these jeans. They're really comfortable. The stretch is everything and I really like the fact that they're like ripped at the bottom and like just like sporadically on the legs. So I feel like these are like a really good comfortable pair of jeans. I really do like them. They're very comfy. They give me everything I need and they're not too tight. I love. I live. It's great. These are £13 by the way. So um, <laughs> inexpensive. We like that sis. So the next pair of jeans I bought are also from Primark and they are actually £13 as well. And they are vintage mum jeans. I really wanted a pair for mum jeans for a very long time but because of the way that I'm built, I just feel like I will look like a sack of bloody potatoes. So, Primark, what are you saying? They say they're high-waisted as well and I bought this in size 14 as well just because they do not have any stretch you hear that no stretch so um <laughs> wish me luck and hopefully it fits over my nyash that was easier than i thought when i think of mum jeans i envision like no, like a supermodel. Think of like Bella Hadid or like a knock walking down the New York streets on a casual day with a white tee, no bra, baggy jeans, and like I don't know, some converses. That's the vibe I think of. But yeah, when I put them on, I don't feel like I don't live that supermodel fantasy. Do you know what I mean? I live the reality of a potato sack and I just don't, I don't know, like, what do you think? 
because as much as I feel like they're bare comfortable, they definitely have no stretch. So if I go like this, it's like, oh, be careful. I can't eat too much in these because my stomach will expand and I will feel sick because of the tightness. But I don't know, like I just want to live my supermodel fantasy. Is that just so hard? Like, but I don't know, like, I guess they're okay. Like, do they make my bum look flat? I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know. This is like, um, it's weird for me because I want to live for these mum jeans, but I don't know. I just don't. I just don't know. I might have to like take a day or two to think about it and process how I look in these jeans, but they fit. So that is always a great thing. I don't know if they're for my body, but they fit. So yeah, I guess that's a good thing. So the third pair of jeans I'm gonna try on for you are from Zara. Now these are the high waist skinny in Astra black slim fit jeans. <laughs> they're in like this gray color. Now I don't have a pair of jeans that are this color, which I don't know. I don't really know how I feel about gray jeans. But we're gonna try them on, we're gonna see how they fit. Um, I love, um, I love Zara, I think it's a fantastic shop. The only problem is it's kind of hit or miss for me. So anytime I go in there and I find something I really like, I have to buy it straight away. Um, oh yeah, these are 30 pound by the way. So let's see what these are saying. I bought these in a size 12. The last two, I don't know if I mentioned it, but they're both size 14, the Primark ones, but these are size 12. So let's see how they fit. Oh, it smell though. A smelly smell that smells smelly. <sighs> now, I actually really like the fit of these jeans because they're very stretchy and they're cute. I just think I'm not necessarily a fan of the grey because I don't think that I am a grey jean type of girl. I feel like blue denim is really where I thrive and I live my best life, whereas colourful denim is a bit like, mm, are you that girl? Do you know what I mean? But Zara doesn't, like, it never disappoints me because Zara, come on. I just don't really like the, like, the end foot bit, but I'll just cuff them. No big deal. But yeah, like, I don't know, like, I might have to like exchange these for a different color, but I'm very much here for the vibe. You know what I mean? The only colorful denim that I would wear is black. Black and blue denim are my thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Now the last pair of jeans that I'm gonna try for you are actually another pair of mum jeans, and these are actually from Urban Outfitters. Now they are a 30 waist and a 32 leg, and um, yeah, like, I never really shop in Urban Outfitters because every time I go there, I find things that I like, but then I look at the price and I'm like, <laughs> I can fully go to Pretty Little Thing and buy something for far cheaper. And um, I'm probably, like, forfeiting on quality, but the way my weight fluctuates, is it really worth it? I might as well buy, buy something cheaper because at least in the long run, I'm not wasting my money. You know what I'm saying? I digress. But, um, yeah, like, I saw these... And I thought, let me give mum jeans another go. I bought the ones from Primark and I bought these. So if these don't look great on me, then I guess mum jeans are just not for me. Let's see. tell by the fit this ain't it yo nah mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. um no 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 they cut my fupa they tight on my ties like the length is the only thing that i like but um <laughs> 
it's a no from me it is a no from me like this is the thing like every trend is not for everybody but i just want mum jeans to fit me so bad is that too much to ask for <sighs> no 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 they're terrible they're terrible they look awful on me now we've established i am not a naomi campbell i'm not a rihanna i'm not <sighs> i'm just not the supermodel that i want to be in my mind but it's fine it's okay um urban outfitters it's not your fault it's my body maybe it is your fault because you didn't make things for my body but are you making things for my body that's the real question it's the real question yeah it's a no mm -mm. so today kids i think we've established two things the first thing is i just don't think mum jeans are for me now i really like the way the primark mum jeans fit they gave me that type of baggy vibe that i needed and that i wanted but they were too short on the bottom like it was like this much and it's like what if i don't want to wear doc martens today sis what if i really want to wear like low trainers or something you know like low tops then what are we gonna do the urban outfitters ones were just way too tight like the thigh and the belly area was just way too tight but i liked the length so i don't know if it's worth like looking for a size or two up but um i think i just might let that one go let that ship sell and never look back on it because long ting fam i ain't got the time the second thing that we established is that Primark are the real life MVP because those black ankle grazers, I really like the fit, I like the cut, I like the um, the subtle rips on them as well and the price, listen I will never complain about that price but one thing Primark, improve on your online because I feel like if you if you set yourself up the way that pre like pretty little things have set themselves up in terms of online wise, they'd be the thing. You know what I'm saying? They'd be the thing. But um, don't get too big for your boots because remember your Primark and uh, those prices. A little bit much sometimes, but it's okay. We move, we move. Now, um, I feel like if you've enjoyed my face, if you've enjoyed the things that come out of my mouth, you're more than welcome to watch another video. Like, bear with him. Um, you can click on this one. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Also, you can subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit that notification button because that will let you know when I'm back. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to miss. You don't want to miss this. But um, I'll, I'll leave you to watch the next video. So, um, yeah, enjoy. Fun. 